came out to this spot a couple weeks ago and got some nice squid. I'm gonna have a, another go, see if there's still some here. Have a few casts, if not, we'll try for something else. We'll walk along the coast and see what we can find. Oh, we are on. Only a little one. Wasn't expecting that. I was about to give up. And we've got a little squid. I'm gonna have another cast out there. So get this guy in real quick. Or oh, get rid of your ink. Where are we gonna land him? Oh. Land him on that rock there. Oh, jeez. Yes. Only a little guy. But we're on the board with a little squid. Okay, we'll just dispatch this guy real quick. There he goes, he's dead. And uh, I have a few more casts right there. Because like we found out last time, they're normally in a, uh, in a group. I found out what they're called. They're not called pods when you've got a collection of squid, a group of them. It's called a squad. Squ a squad of squid. No, it's not. I forget now. Okay, so if you're looking to catch squid land-based, there's a couple of things you need. You need really clear water, and you need reef or weed banks. You don't need deep water. Even half a metre, I've caught squid in. But the, the key things is clear water and some sort of structure like weed or rock, gravel. Something the squid can hide, hide from because everything wants to eat a squid. And what you need to do is cast out, let the squid jig sink. A lot of times, they'll take it on the on the drop and just bring it back in a series of little hops now in deeper water you can give it a real big hop but in shallow water i just like to give little ones sometimes a double and let it sink yeah not getting many squid here so i think we might might just jump in the car and see if we can drive around and, and find something else that's biting but yeah not many squid today oh no way that's fish jumping look they're busting up out there all right Finish his drink and get back out there and see if we can get something. Oh yeah, well. You won't believe what happened. I was just sitting in my car having an iced coffee and then I seen all these fish busting up. That could be big tail or nap tuna or something, but that's all I'm using. A little gillies. I think it's a 20 gram Gillies minnow or something, I'm not sure what they're called, but Yep Got one Come on, stay on this time It's not very big, it's not like as big as those things that were busting up What have we got? Maybe a little tailor or something like that Yes. What is it? It's only small. Yeah, a little tailor, I think. Tiny tailor. Ugh. Settle down, mate. I'm going to let you go. You're undersized. There's something a lot bigger busting up, though. Get these hooks out of you. Oh, don't bite me. There you go. I'll let him go. Let's see if we can get another one. Yep, 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 yep. On. I seen a little boil over there, had a cast to it. And we got something. This one feels a little bit bigger. Another tailor, I think. But definitely a bigger one. Oh. Yes. Oh no, he's not much bigger. 
I think he'd be undersized as well. He's putting up a good fight though. Oi! Get him up. Oh, he's throwing up all those bait fish he's been smashing. Oh, come on. It's slippery. Up and up. We'll get these hooks out. And we'll let him go as well. Look at that, mate. Little Taylor. Oh, no. We'll have to go down and get him. Hopefully he swims off. Come on. Swim, mate. Yeah, he's all right. How cool is that? There's just boils of fish. They go over there, then over there, and they're just chasing bait fish. And I've got a little metal slug that resembles, you know, a small bait fish. And yeah, if I see a boil, I cast to it. And that that time worked out perfect. Most of the time, I'm not getting anything, but, but the only little tail of. Got him. That could be a clump of weed. <laughs> no, that's a fish. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not big. It's not taking any drag. But, again, I could see him busting out. I should have walked out there because it was a big, long cast. Just got to him and he, this guy's nailed it. Another little tailor, I think. I might walk out that way. I can still see him harassing the bait fish. Where is he? Literally only cranked the handle two times and he's nailed it. Yeah, little Taylor again. <laughs> oh, lift this guy up. They only tiny little fish. Oh, he's hooked well. He's got me. Oh, you bastard bit me. Oh, that was a good bite. Lucky it was only a little tailor. <laughs> well, that's how you don't release a tailor. He got me good. Luckily, it was only small. Super sharp teeth. Don't put your fingers in the mouth. I don't know why I did that. Okay, we're all tied up again. Have another cast. Turns out, when you're doing an FG knot, you need your index finger. Okay, I've just changed to a little Halco twist here, a little 10 gram. I think the, I think the bait that they're feeding on is really tiny, so... Problem with this is I won't be able to cast as far. So they might be out of range, but... Especially with the tide going out. But I haven't seen anything busting up for a little while. There's still birds diving in, but... Didn't take long. Literally, the second cast with the smaller lure and we've nailed one. But he's only a tiny little tailor. I'm gonna get my pliers, I think, because I don't wanna get bit again. See you, mate. Well, that was a fun little session. Started off with a little squid. They weren't really firing up, so we went and moved to this spot. And yeah, found a few little tailor busting up. So that was a lot of fun. I mean, no, nothing big, nothing to take home, but yeah, always fun catching a few tailor. Thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video. Cheers, bye.